Welcome back to Armchair Expert. It's an amazing set of contestants we have for you in this show, and here they are. Hello, guys. This is Nero, your human sport encyclopedia. Hi, guys. I'm Olajiri, and I'm the undisputed champion, and I'm here to show you just that. Let's go there. Brilliant, you guys. Real brilliant. But we have a round one to navigate first. It's around this week's team, and that's Africans in the Premier League. I can shout some amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but first, here are the rules. Round one. It's simple. 30 seconds each to answer as many questions as possible on what's going on in the sporting week. Your time starts now. Who is the Premier League's highest scoring African player? Pass. Didier Drogba with 104 goals. Who was the first African to win the Premier League? Drogba. Christopher Ray. That was in 1997-98 season. Which African nation has had the most Premier League players? Ivory Coast. Nigeria. Which of these African nations is yet to have a player in the Premier League? Is it Chad or Sierra Leone? It has to be Chad. It is correct. Chad is absolutely correct. Which Cameroonian legend had back-to-back -back stints at two Premier League clubs? Eto. Correct. Samuel Eto. And that's where your time ends. Uh, good, good fight back. Two points for Nero Olajire. Your time starts now. Which Premier League giant did Tony Yeboah score a famous long-distance strike against in 95-96 season? That's now. Liverpool. Which Nigerian has made the most appearances in the Premier League? Mikel. Joseph Yobo. Which African player has received the most red cards in the Premier League? Is it Yusuf Mulumbu or El Hajj Diouf? El Hajj Diouf. It's actually Yusuf Mulumbu. Famous for scoring a Premier League hat-trick against Chelsea in 15 minutes. Who is he? Yakubu Aigbeni. Steven Pina was a household name in Everton, but what other Premier League club did he play for? Stoke City. Spoils or Sunderland, and that's where it ends with you. Uh, you didn't pick up any point. Let's see the scoreboard. In that regard, Nero leads by two points, and Olajire, who is understandably angry, didn't pick up any point, but there's still so much to fight for and extend your lead in round two after the break. And we're back for round two. We left it off with narrow two points. And of course, Olajire yet to pick a point, but it's crunch time now. It's round two, and here are the rules. Round two, convince me. You each have 15 seconds to argue for or against. Two points are up for grabs. And the topic is, North Africa is set to replace West Africa as the continent's dominant force in the Premier League. You are going for North, and you're going for West. Are you ready? Yeah. That's not even a debate. You can just go three years ago, you saw Riyad, Riyad Mahrez, the first African player to win EPL Player of the Year, and now Mohamed Salah, the highest top goal scorer in a single season. What more do you want? North Africa, straight up. Under 15 seconds, that just went uh, like that. Olajire. I don't see that happening because the top goal scorer in the EPL is the Drogba, the top assist in the EPL is the Drogba, and the most expensive African player is Nabi Keita. So I don't see that happening. Well, combined five seconds for one of you, no? That's a good argument. I am, and we can't go on a short break. For me to choose, I will slightly lean towards Olajiri because he's shown that Africans have been there. And of course, in that regard of records, a West African leads that. That's a good one. Let's see the result now. It's a tie. It's a tie, guys. A big one, 2-2. Two, two. Round three promises to be fun, but you have to stick around. It's the home stretch of Armchair Expert round three. These guys, 2-2 two, two, from the last two rounds. It's round three. Here are the rules. Round three, the quick fire decider. 45 seconds to push up your score. Remember, shout your name before you answer or you lose out. 45 seconds, your time starts now. Where was Saido Berenio born? Nero, um, Congo. Senegal. Oh, it's actually Burundi. Albatross is a bed, but also a terminology used in what sport? Um, Nero, badminton. Tennis. It's actually golf. What did Serena Williams say she missed out on as she practiced during this year's Wimbledon? Nero, um, winning. <laughs> Her daughter's first test. In which city is the Australian Grand Prix currently held? Nero. Australia. In which city in Australia? Melbourne, Melbourne. Correct. Uh, which country hosted this year's Winter Olympics? Nero. Sochi. Russia. China, oh, China, China. Korea. China. Oh, South Korea. Which of these sports is currently in the Commonwealth Games but not in the Olympic Games? Is it squash or triathlon? Nero. Squash. It's correct. 
Which Premier League club has won the most FA Cup trophy? Arsenal. David. You said it first and I'll give you. That's a good <laughs> You picked up two points, and you picked up one point. Four points, three points. Nero is our champion for this year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Come and take your... Such a humble... You're so humble. <laughs> a good word, Olajire, but of course, this is our undisputed champion. Yeah, welcome to my lifestyle, winning. Ooh. <laughs>